So, what is going on, everyone? Um, it is your boy, Soros Garzi, here. And uh, today is not really that good at all, guys. Not good at all. So, that camel grind, we were pretty close, guys. I was going to be very proud of us. It would have been, technically, for my channel at least, the first time that we were to unlock any dark matter equivalent camel. And I was very excited not just to have the caramel, but to have a video of me unlocking a Dark Matter camel for you guys. To, uh, well, today, all of that, including RE Village right now, has come to a halt. Um, I want to start off by going on the 9th. I have a surgery. And to prepare for the surgery, I cannot do weed. And I cannot have nicotine, which if you guys know, that is practically me. I love my weed and I love my, my nicotine. So I had downloaded a whole bunch of shit onto my PS4. Technically speaking, my wife's. Right? Now, yesterday I had almost completed Modern Warfare 2 Remastered's campaign on Veteran. I was two missions away. Um, I did a little bit of Resident Evil 7. And I watched YouTube, and that was my day yesterday. No online people, right? Now, apparently in one of my older groups, I had posted a picture there with some of my friends, and they had fucking laughed. It was a good fucking time. Well, this morning, I make my fucking coffee, okay, guys, like I normally do every fucking day. Okay, I turn on my fucking, her PS4 technically, and I see this. Sign into PlayStation Network. Now, I'm just going to even, I, at this point, guys, I don't even care if I give you the password right now. Because it's now permanently fucking banned. All of this is permanently banned. I don't even know if I can show you guys my fucking library anymore. I guess I can. All of this has been lost. Every last little bit of it. All of the shit I've done on these games are gone. All of the PlayStation Plus games that I have collected over the years are gone. All of my fucking trophies, even from fucking PS3 days, are gone. I can't even show you them because they're fucking... Well, here we go, guys. Let me just go like... This. Alright guys, here we go. Three. Two, one. I shouldn't even need that. It, I'll put the fucking message that it fucking showed. But I know that that won't work. Um, I've been permanently banned on PS4. Which in turn means the exclusion zone camel grind is no more, guys. Um, I don't even really know what to say right now. I lost PS3 stuff. I practically lost most of my childhood right here. The themes, guys. The fucking themes. Will I even be able to take a look at those? All of these themes, guys, look, they're all locked, too. Every single one is now locked. I've lost my Minecraft theme. I've lost my favorite theme of all fucking time. I've lost it all.
I am so emotional right now about this. I have multiple emotions. One, anger is one of the most prominent emotions right now. And two, depression. I've had that account since the days of this. And everything is gone. All of it, gone. I want to talk about one more thing, and I'm going to press pause on the boys for a sec here, guys. By the way, um, I know I don't normally do shoutouts, but go go subscribe to the boys. They're good shit. Now, I just want to talk to you guys about mainly this, the PS4, and the PlayStation 3. Because I really want to get my points across here. So, with this sexy boy right here right well it, there is no it's not really a secret by any means you could go whether it was 360 or ps3 you can go onto youtube as we speak and find some of the most nostalgic gaming moments and what moments would i be talking about shit talking stupid photos being sent to other people that were not really appropriate, but we're funny. Right? Well, let's 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 just talk about all the consoles entirely then. I have a Series X right here too, and a 360 to talk about my points about this. So, once again, this console, there were so many hateful things said to other people. But did we really report people? No. No, we didn't. Do you want to know why? No one got banned over this too, guys. You want to know why? Because it was fun. It was fun. It made for laughs. It wasn't even that offensive, in a way. We were all having fun. And do you guys really think that if someone really said, I'm going to kill you, fucking kill yourselves, do you really think that that person is going to go over to that person's place? I talk a lot of shit, guys, when it comes to Call of Duty. Right? I come from the days... Of the OG Call of Duty 4. I come from the days of World at War. I come from the days of Modern Warfare 2. I come from the days of Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2 even. And you cannot physically tell me that there were not so or there was no shit talking to anyone else. And you can also not physically tell me that one person has even gone to someone's place after saying I'm gonna kill you and actually did it. No one has. No one ever will. Ever. If it already hasn't happened, do you guys really think it's going to happen? No. I want to know what the big difference between this and these dumpster fire consoles. Now. Yes, I call it dumpster fire. I have heavy emotions right now. Forgive me. I'm sorry though, I can't talk shit. On this, there's new policies. You can get permanently banned for talking shit. Really? And you guys think this is a good idea because people are so soft nowadays. I'm sorry for saying this, but I feel like I fucking have to. I don't like it when people think that they're so fucking soft that they can't take someone talking shit to them in game and they cry. Think about it this way. You only have to deal with them once. And then you will probably never have to talk to them again. Think of it another way. Let's think of it this way, right? You ever just go outside and then get embarrassed? You, you, that happens to me too, but you want to know what I think about? I'll never really see them again. They're called encounters for a reason. My whole point of this is we don't need to be this soft. Make the gaming platform a better place for everyone? No. In fact, you're making it worse. To the point where I don't want another PS4 now. I just lost over six thousand fucking dollars. I lost it all. Because I sent a stupid photo to someone a few years ago? Really? I don't want another Xbox. 
I don't want another PlayStation console. I am boycotting them. In fact, if I want to continue gaming, I would rather fucking go to PC at this point. You guys have made your software so fucking... There was no need to implement these systems to make the quote-unquote gaming place a better place for everyone. It didn't need to be there. It was already perfection. It's because of you, PlayStation, technically Sony, because of you, Xbox, technically Microsoft, that the gaming world is dying. Also, a few other gaming companies that actually make the games, but my main point right now is an Activision. My main point right now is Sony and Microsoft. Now let's go look at the Xbox, shall we? Hold on a sec here. Hold on, hold on, hold, hold on, guys. All right. Now I have made a video already on the 360. Okay, but I'm gonna say a few more things about it. Right. The reason why this is four thousand times better than this, a Series X, and this isn't my Series X. This is my wife's. But my point is still the same this you should talk people are listening in instant ban whether it's permal or just a suspension my point is once again even with the fucking 360 guys there were so many hateful things said to other gamers you once again you can still look up footage in the game's prime in lobbies of people just saying really hurtful fucking things and telling kids to fucking kill themselves. Did it happen though, guys? Did any of those kids kill themselves? Did anyone go over to their place and actually follow through with what they said? No, because it's a fucking game. It is a game. I want that to be known. It is a fucking game. If you take this shit seriously that much, then there is a problem. And that is coming from someone that takes this very seriously because I do this has been my life since 2007 and I swore to myself that day I don't want to do anything else and I won't this is me this is me this is me I was the only last member and face clan that still use consoles you ruined that for me today sony over a photo that was shared that went against your fucking guidelines i got an email for that today too guys like i am so done with consoles it kills me to say this but i don't want any more consoles at all i will go to pc right now i can't i still have my series x up and running a little bit and i'm watching tube if I do stick with Xbox, I'm telling you guys this now, I will not fucking go into game chat. I will not go into a party chat. I am also almost too afraid to even play online, and that shouldn't be the case. You guys have other people shit talking too, but do those people get banned? No, the people that fucking defend themselves and talk shit back get banned. How is that fair, Sony? How is that fair, Microsoft? Hmm? I'm still fucking waiting for a good answer. You tell me. How is that fair? And another thing, guys. Like, us content creators having this happen to us, that's not good. Because now how am I supposed to get the content out? How are we supposed to get content out for you? But we're mainly, we're mainly a gaming channel. As it is right now, I don't know what to record. I can't finish. Modern Warfare Masters Camel Grind anymore. I can't finish Resident Evil Village. I think I have it on Xbox, but then I would have to play until I get to where I am at in the fucking video. Um, my whole fucking point about this is gaming has gotten to the point where it is way too soft, and there is a huge problem with that. It needs to end. It needs to end now. Actually, as a matter of fact, it needed to. It didn't even need to be put into consoles in the first place, guys. You're not keeping anyone safe. In fact, people are using this to their own advantage too. 
I this it, this hasn't just happened to me on PlayStation. I one v one this kid on fucking Xbox and Infinite Warfare. He sent me a message going snipers one v one. Bet the motherfucker pulls out a fucking Titan and is XOing in the most shittiest fucking Call of Duty ever in a fucking room and expects for me to just you know still play. I stood there and did fucking nothing, because at that point, it's not a fucking 1v1. Once again, I come from the days where you had beef with someone, guess where you were going? Either fucking shipment, rust, uh, uh, snipers, 1v1. Whoever won, well, guess what? Beef is now done. We can't even do that nowadays, guys. This also really pains me to say this, but I actually really hate modern age gaming. I despise it, actually. Yeah, graphics look really good. Cool, cool, cool. You know what? Modern Warfare 2 looked like shit, in a way. Still does right now, but you know what? It was ten times better of a game than any of these newer CODs. Any of these newer games, maybe excluding a few. And that's fucking saying something, guys. I think I'm more rambling in this video right now, but I wanted that known. And I needed it known. So I am sorry guys, I will not be able to finish any more PlayStation stuff. Um, I'm sorry guys. We were so close. I also like the fact that when I, you know, start fully getting back into YouTube, trying to make it work again, and this shit happens, and once again, guys, over a fucking photo, and I'll send you, uh, I'll put this at the end of the message of me getting banned, and then the fucking email for it. It is the most stupidest thing I have ever encountered. But anyways, guys, I think I should end this video here. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this, because this time, I sure as fuck didn't. Um, I want to also end the video by going, fuck you, Sony and Microsoft. And, yeah, it's been your boy, Scarzy, and I'm out. Peace.